you have a litter of baby rabbits, you're wondering when you should remove the nest box from the cage, give the mother a little bit more room, that's what we're going to talk about in today's video. Some food there. Hey guys, welcome back to another Slightly Redneck video. Again, my name's Chris, and if you're not familiar with this channel, I help you to produce your own meat, eggs, and vegetables from your backyard, your balcony, your deck, your garage, or even a spare room in your house if that's the way you want to do it. And uh, today we're going to be talking about my latest litter of rabbits. I've only got four in here. I had a little bit of a tragedy with these guys. Had uh, I think it was nine to begin with, and then just a couple of days after they were born, I found five of them on the cage floor. I think they probably were nursing and got pulled out of the cage. Doesn't happen very often, but it does occasionally. I didn't get to them in time, so I ended up losing them. It was pretty chilly out. But the rest of them are doing just great. They're about three weeks old right now, probably. I'm not doing a real good job of keeping track of uh, how old they are. Uh, but it's time to remove the nest box, and that's what I want to talk about. I've gotten a couple of questions about this recently. I've actually addressed it in video before, but I've got new subscribers, new people to the channel, so I thought we'd talk about it one more time. You know, it's really pretty easy to figure out when it's time to remove your nest box from your cage. Generally, that's going to be when the rabbits are between about two to three weeks old, somewhere right around in there. And it doesn't matter if it's summer or winter, if it's cold or hot, it, none of that matters. All you got to do is watch the rabbits. They'll tell you when it's time to remove the nest box. You can see they're jumping in and out of the nest box, but these guys now are spending most of their time outside of the nest box. They no longer need it. I'm going to move away from this cage just a little bit. My doe gets a little bit grumpy when she's got babies in there and there's somebody messing around the cage. She gets a little bit uh, nervous and uh, <laughs> she's kind of beating up the babies a little bit, telling them to stay away from the front of the cage, I think is what she's trying to tell them. But we're going to have to get in there here in a second anyway. So again, just watch your rabbits. When they start spending more time outside of the nest box than they do in the nest box, generally when I come out here in the mornings, they're almost all out of the nest box. They're almost all, um, all the time. Uh, very seldom are they in it. They hop in it from, from time to time, spend a few minutes in it, hop back out, go feed, go, go get a drink of water, uh, you know, just hop around the cage. So right now it's just taking up extra room in the cage and it's a good idea to go ahead and remove that because what will happen is they'll start using it as a litter box and it's going to get real dirty, real nasty, real quick. So I need to get in here and get this uh, nest box out of here. I'll bring you guys in close, let you see me do that because like I said, this doe gets a little bit grumpy when she's got babies and she may jump on me and it'd be something fun to, I guess, see on camera if she does take a hunk of skin out of me, but we'll see. I think I can get in there and get out without getting hurt. We'll find out. All right, so there's nothing special about the way I could go about doing this. Come on, guys, get out of the way. These guys are awful curious. They want to come up here and check out what I'm doing. And, ooh, here comes Mama. And look at that, that was easy. She didn't even catch, didn't even know I was in there until it was too late. Go on, get out. Go on, go on. Go on. Go on. This guy. Go on, hop out. Come on, get out of the cage, get out of there. Uh-oh, there's Mama again. Go on. There you go. All right. That was actually easier than I expected it to be. All right, so there's the nest box. Uh, needs to be cleaned out, but that's why I use these cardboard cutouts. It's pretty easy to just pull all that out, clean it right out. That's really all there is to it when it comes to getting the nest box out of the cage. That's it, just pull it out. And again, just watch your rabbits. They're probably gonna be, like what'll happen initially is, you know, somewhere around probably eight, nine, ten days old, somewhere right around in there, you'll start finding one of them out of the nest box every once in a while. What I usually do for the first couple of days is pick them up, put them back in the nest box when I find them out. But that's only for a couple of days. Then they're able to get in and out on their own. And then you'll see them out of the nest box occasionally, but most of the time spending the time in the nest box. But then somewhere around two weeks to three weeks old, somewhere right around in there, they're going to start venturing out and they're going to spend most of their time outside of the nest box eating, drinking, those kinds of things. So just watch them. Whenever that happens, you're good to take it out. They don't need the nest box for warmth. It doesn't matter how cold it's going to get outside. Uh, just keep the wind off of them. And I pull these tarps down over the front so I don't have wind blowing directly on the rabbits. But if you keep the wind off of them, they don't need anything extra to keep warmth. And honestly, it's best to get that out of there and not leave it in there too long, especially... Um, a lot of people will 
will stuff their nest boxes full of straw and leave them in there for the rabbits to use to get, keep warm again. They don't need that. And that also provides a really good area for like things like um, ear mites and things to harbor. So it's not really a good idea to leave those in there all the time, in my opinion anyway. You may never have a problem with ear mites, but I do occasionally and uh, I don't want any extra bedding for the ear mites to uh, bed down in. Again, the rabbits don't need it. So it works just fine. It doesn't matter. Today's nice and warm. It's like 50 some odd degrees today. But you know, even when it's really, really cold out, these guys do just fine. They don't need anything extra to snuggle into. So anyway, hopefully that answered questions for you if you had them. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, God bless.